Driverless cars are so far still kind of science fiction. Yes, even if you own a Tesla. It's not hard to get too excited, though, not just about technology that promises for a relaxing commute or easier road trip, but we're talking about a future that may someday have much, much safer roads. And that future may be closer than you think, which is why our Four Investigates team took special notice of a trucking company that's testing driverless tech on Albuquerque roads right now. Matt Grubbs has why. On I-40, or on I-25, most people don't give a second thought to who's at the wheel of the semi in the next lane. But every day in Albuquerque, a company called Torque is testing technology designed to make the semi in the next lane driven by no one. We truly believe it will be within the decade, uh, but ultimately safety dictates the timeline. 5,000 people a year die in crashes with large trucks and 160,000 people are hurt. Truck drivers are usually safe drivers, but they're on the road so much that it's almost impossible to avoid an accident. That's why a small fleet of trucks rolls out each day from an old Dodge dealership off Lomas and I-25. On board is an array of cameras, sensors, and computers. They constantly stream data to Torx mission control. So in addition to cameras, which you may see behind the windshield uh, and on the mirrors here, uh, we use radar and LIDAR, which are two other technologies that help us understand what's going on around us. Torque wants to create completely driverless semis that can help plug an estimated 80,000 driver shortage in the long haul freight business. There's a huge potential payoff because driving a semi is hard. Despite what we all mutter during rush hour, humans are really good at driving cars. We take in a ton of information and process it quickly. Getting a 40 ton truck to act like the best truck driver on his best day all the time, it's a job. Through and then behind. That's why we hitched a ride for a test drive. Even while the truck is driving itself, there's a human at the wheel for every run. There's also a safety conductor paying attention to the road and the technology. Our sensors are looking in all those directions at all times, uh, so we never have to glance left or glance right. Uh, we're seeing and understanding that world every time we're going down the road. Torque has figured out how to see the world around the truck. It's in Albuquerque to watch how its software responds to it. There's a lot of people that, that don't live locally here that drive down I-40 or I-25 every day. And so we get to learn a lot from those interactions. Also, there are a lot of people who do live here who drive a little aggressively. And as the truck merged on its own onto I-25 and then immediately onto I-40, we learned it is incredibly polite. It doesn't know how to run up close to somebody, right? It doesn't know how to forget to pay attention. Uh, it doesn't ever forget what the safe distance is. It doesn't ever forget to look over the shoulder. It's, um, it's pretty impressive. It doesn't get annoyed either. Uh, yeah, there's no human factors, right? So there's there's no discussion of impatience. Um, it doesn't feel like it needs to pass for no reason. Driver and program manager Walter Grigg says it might seem like a basic observation, but the best way to avoid an accident is to not be there when one happens. And that's the whole story of driving defensively, of never allowing yourself to get in those sticky situations. Um, and that's exactly what we're doing. Because a driverless truck never has to stop for food or sleep or the bathroom, it's never in a hurry. Time and again, our test truck backed off or even braked to create a safe distance. It never tried to pass another truck on an uphill blocking everyone behind. This is still testing. During our ride, right about here, the autonomous system beeped and shut off. It wasn't noticeable, but for the beep, and as the human driver took over, Mission Control started analyzing what happened. Torque says one of its biggest challenges is finding computers that are reliable enough and small enough to keep a system and a backup on board. So we will not take a driver out until we know these trucks are safe uh, and we can ensure that for every road user going down the road with them. We called up freight expert Alan Rudder at Texas A&M's Transportation Institute. It's a matter of uh, governments and it's a matter of other people. Rudder says the economic case is clear. Given the, the way that uh, the supply chain is working now and freight rates, there's an awful lot of financial incentive to see about making this work. Public perception, he says, is the key. And you're in, your, in there with your family. Are you comfortable with the truck that's next to you that you're trying to pass, not having a driver on? When drivers do start thinking about the truck in the next lane, Torx hope is that it's one of theirs.
Matt Grubbs for Investigates. The American Trucking Association says the trucker shortage could reach 160,000 drivers by the end of this decade, which is part of the reason why Torque doesn't think its technology is going to force any truckers out of the job market. I wonder how those trucks would have fared in the Raton Pass last night there, Ivan. We're all going to get replaced, <laughs> and some sooner than others, especially after this.